In this tutorial, we will show you how to provide a surveillance audit on WINDA. Log in to your certification body user or auditor account on WINDA. This example account has several surveillance audits due. You can also search the table by audit type. To provide a new audit, click on New Audit and choose the type of audit you need to provide. In this case, a surveillance audit. From the drop down menu, you can choose the training provider for which you need to provide the audit and choose the related certificate. For a surveillance audit, you do not need to upload a new certificate because a surveillance audit only deals with reviewing the certifications which already exist. Therefore, you only need to provide the audit report in the GWO audit report template. You still need to input the date the audit was completed on, the type of audit methodology, and the auditor or auditors who performed the audit. When you are finished, click Submit. After the report is submitted, you will see a message that GWO staff will review the audit before it is accepted and fully posted to WINDA. You will be able to see a record of the submission and the status in the pending audits table. If a GWO staff has any questions or requires any corrections to be made to the audit, you will receive an email notification. You will also see the changed status in the pending audits table. Here you can review the comments from GWO staff, including the entire log of previous comments. In this case, there was a question about the date. It is possible to correct any of the information given and upload a new document at this point. When you're finished, you can add comments back to GWO staff to explain your updates. When you're done, click Submit, and the GWO team will be notified of your changes. The status changes back to requested in the pending audits table. When the audit and audit report are accepted by GWO, you will receive an email notification. Clicking the link will take you to the audit table where you can see your newly added audit. Now the surveillance audit will be marked as completed and it will show the date on which it was completed. If you need to, you can always search this list using the WINDA ID or the name of the training provider. Here you can see the schedule for the remaining audits for this training provider. In this case, only the recertification remains. If a surveillance audit is completed too early, WINDA will automatically schedule another activity due date for a follow-up surveillance audit. Surveillance audits must be completed in 12 plus or minus two months from the date of the certification audit. The first surveillance audit after the initial certification must be completed no more than 12 months after the last day of the initial certification audit. If a surveillance audit is done when more than 14 months remain on the certificate cycle, an additional surveillance audit will be added. In this example, the certification audit was done in December 2020 and the surveillance audit was uploaded in August 2021. This is too early, and so another activity has been added for October 2022. Keep this requirement in mind when scheduling surveillance audits.